Artist Ranji Pereira lives in Sri Lanka. He has a gallery at his home in Colombo and works in an open studio overlooking the garden. Very much a colour oriented artist, he gets inspiration from the lush foliage, indigenous and migratory birds in his garden. He's from the traditional old school of art, influenced by impressionists, old masters, the likes of Cezanne, Monet, Gauguin. Ranji works in oil, on canvas mostly, sometimes charcoals. His work revolves around capturing the pulse of Sri Lankan way of life, indigenous cultural identity and historical landmarks. He focuses on portrait subjects such as farmers, toddy tappers, snake charmers, still fishermen, fisherwomen, flower sellers, to name but a few. My partner came across Ranjit's work in 2001 during one of his many exhibitions. At the time, we acquired the original oil on canvas, My Little Sister, and since then we've been acquiring his work regularly over the years, from exhibitions and, and a few private commissions. We probably own a number of pieces by now, and they sit really beautifully alongside the other original works that we have in the house. As previously mentioned, in this particular piece, a striking work in oil, entitled My Little Sister, Ranji captures the expression of two street children, the thing my partner and I find most compelling are the eyes. They draw the viewer in to take a deeper look. Their faces tell of endurance and the daily hardships of life. We are always struck by the authenticity of Ranjit's work, something that makes it really stand out in today's commercial art world. I have a formal training in the sense that uh, I went to develop my art to a lady who was uh, a pupil of a famous artist in Sri Lanka, a TV painter. So this it goes back to my college days when actually when David Painter was doing the college chapel murals, I was inspired by him. And, uh, uh, for, and by, a, uh, by some luck, I should say, I was uh, this lady who helped me was a pupil of David Painters. So it was a coincidence, and that uh, she guided me uh, in the development of my art. I would always draw and paint, but she guided me, giving me the techniques and uh, basic things that. Uh, what an artist should do. My preferred areas in art, they are actually, I like life drawing a lot. Uh, I used to travel a lot around with charcoal drawings, you know, I like to draw with charcoal and I like life drawing and I like because of the emotions I can capture in people from their, in their eyes and things like that. So, uh, figurative art came first. So that, that's my preferred area, but I have gone into other areas like landscapes and actually practically I draw whatever that comes into my mind, I, I do it in art. So uh, it's landscapes, sometimes not abstract drawing because I don't have a much, of, I don't uh, do very much of that. but traditional type of things, cultural uh, things that are uh, my preferred areas. Oh, I have, a, I have a gallery and I have a studio, outdoor studio, and I paint there for, for long periods of time during the day. So that's how I to get by in my art and it's a very, uh, it's a tropical uh, country, it's very tropical and I'm surrounded by lush foliage and there are plenty of uh, migratory birds and uh, indigenous birds, so I'm inspired by all that, so that's how I get around uh, uh, the daily work. Yeah. I do a lot of work out outdoors I, in my studio. I, uh, I do my color studies in watercolors, 
initially I do a color study before I do a, a painting and the preferred method is uh, using oil, oil colors and from, I also do acrylic, mixed media oil acrylic but watercolors I use for color studies thereafter I do the, the painting, proper painting in oil painting so it's mostly for oil is my preferred media oil painting. Well, they are actually like uh, I uh, select my subjects I, for figurative drawings. I get it's, I get people to pose for me, and it's very difficult to, to get professional people to pose in our country. So there's very few. So I am I have to get hold of people who are you know who walk by my place. People like uh, Snake Charmers, uh, Tony Tappers, and uh, like uh, Gypsy people and Gypsy girls and people like that. You know, all sometimes I get my home people don't like me bringing all this crowd into uh, into my house. But that's the way I I get them to pose for me, and then they are not professionals, but so I have to work around them and. Uh, I get, uh, I do them and actual life drawing them. I uh, create my own uh, pictures, so basically. So that's uh, that, that's part of how I create things. And like color inspires me a lot. And uh, actually, I think in art school or wherever I went, they call me a color freak. Things I used to dabble a lot with color, and uh, you sometimes I just spontaneously use my hands even to, to uh, dabble in paint. My fingers, uh, not only that, the palette knife and the brush. So those, uh, that's how I I create a lot of pictures. Like, and I take my own photographs sometimes when there is a moment when you. When you are traveling or when you are for landscapes, when you, are, you have to capture that moment in time which we don't have the luxury of sitting there and capturing. So I had to take a photograph, then put it into my memory and then uh, go back to the studio and work on paintings, sometimes on landscapes and uh, something, something nice which I capture. I always take my camera when I go out. So. That's, that, that, is, that is the way I work. Art influences me in the sense that, uh, you know, how uh, it's like meditation for me. I sit for hours uh, in front of the canvas and I paint and I'm oblivious to anything else. I'm just thinking, I mean, it's like meditation, like, you know, thinking of only one thing. So I don't, uh, uh, it sort of uh, takes my time, total time, and uh, it's very, it's not stressful for me uh, when I'm painting. It's like, you know, you are, the outside world doesn't exist, so it's just like you are, you in front of the canvas, and you it's you're like meditating, you're painting away. So that is very, very, uh, I found it very uh, soothing and very refreshing to do uh, my art that way. Yes, from my school days I used to, uh, I, I was inspired by this uh, David Painter, but after I, uh, when I started reading about art, all the old masters inspired me from Leonardo da Vinci to uh, Michelangelo and you know those Rembrandt and those classical artists. You know, I I actually learned a lot by uh, looking and even painting some of their they are copying some of their paintings so that I could get and people like Constable who you know he's a very famous landscape artist in the UK and he when I painted some of did copy some of his paintings I saw the 
amazing colors that uh, he used to use. Uh, and then, of course, get the impression is there, my favorites like Cezanne, Gauguin, and uh, Van Gogh, and you know, artists like that, they really inspired me. And I, I think I learned a lot from them. And, you know, that's the way I got inspired by even by his old masters. The drawings of Leonardo da Vinci, I used to, he was so specific and he was so, uh, he was a great uh, artist during that time. Uh, so they really, uh, and of course the modern artists too, I mean, uh, sculpt people who used to do sculpture, they used to uh, Rodin and people like that, they used to inspire me and uh, I always get inspired by other artists, you know, it's a, uh, it's uh, it's something which is because, uh, it gives me all, uh, it helps me to do try to improve my art and that uh, that that's uh, yeah, I always uh, it's a wonderful to be with such great masters and you know do your painting. Well, if uh, art is very, it's very, art is a very difficult thing. Some people, for what is good to one person, is not good for the other person. So you get, uh, you know, the modern, I have nothing against modern art. And, you know, just a story I used to know uh, was that uh, I don't do abstract much, but uh, I, like to do the it's I uh, there was a, something that I knew about a modern painting was that there was this uh, art collector who was raving about a certain picture and then he invited all these uh, art critics to come and give account of that and they just went into rapture saying the person must have been of a great intellect and the person must have been very, uh, you know, his colouring was this, he had so much of training from but then the art collector had the last laugh because it was done by a monkey. So, you know, and they didn't know which way to hang, hang it. So, it's not a, it's not that I'm trying to condemn, condemning this uh, kind of art but uh, I like to do the basics properly and you know, that kind of thing. Uh, the message is that I uh, I like to give up if I have brought happiness to somebody who is watching my art. That's a great feeling for me. So I think uh, you know art uh, that way. It's a it's a uh, it's different. Uh, it's a huge gamut. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a huge uh, uh, area, and it's there's so many facets to it. So that's the kind of uh, thing that I like to play and to pursue your for people who are going into art to, irrespective of whether you are doing abstract or uh, other types of traditional art to pursue it with vigor and vitality and uh, bring some meaning to your paintings. And always make people happy. If you can make some people happy with your art, that's a great thing for me.